Video time. Hi Marty here and welcome back to another episode of Draw Every Day. And before I start, tomorrow is the stream day. So I hope someone will actually come to the stream well and kind of support me because I'm kind of nervous and <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it by my own. So hopefully there will be more people coming and you can help me to make the stream kind of better. Yeah, I had some problems with the stream. Uh, I was trying to, you know, I did some test streams, like uh, unlisted streams, so you're probably not seeing them. But yeah, I had some problems, you know, the collaboration part, when you can actually join in, like join the stream and talk with me, like directly with me, not just, not just uh, like writing in the comments, you can actually talk with me in the stream. I had some problems with it, but I think I found a solution for that because uh, when I'm using Ubuntu, like Linux system, and I have I have this little bug with Hangouts on Air that I can't actually share only one screen, which is super annoying to me. And actually, I have to use OBS to stream my videos, which kind of sucks because I can't invite you. But I figured out some solution to make it happen. Well, I will tell you more about this tomorrow. So. Uh, let's move on to this video and in this video I want to talk about making lines and <laughs> the thing I want to talk about the most about making lines is to making lines and thinking about them. This is the most important thing I've learned in the past five years I'm actually doing art and that's the way of making lines that you actually see the line before you make it and you understand that it's actually there and it actually helps you to make drawings without construction lines and this is one of the things I always wanted to make you know drawings without construction lines actually start drawing and make things without doing some scribbles under it that was my dream and I think it still is because I'm not really good at this I'm still kind of noob and you know at the beginning of the journey but hopefully in the next month I will get better at this and I will actually make better art. I'm not sure, like, uh, you know, the drawing you'll see, I'm making this way. I'm trying to reproduce some art from reference, from photo reference, since, you know, uh, it's kind of easier for me to make it, uh, like, to see lines from the reference and translate them on a canvas then actually from my imagination and then transform it into a canvas because that's like one step higher and now I have now I'm gonna try to make the reference paper and then I'm gonna do the imagination visual, visualization and paper so I have to do this whole process and go from the beginning I really encourage you to try this as well because I think it's a really awesome way of drawing because you, your visualization skills will get better and better and you, you'll be able to actually draw something without actually seeing it, which is awesome. Just, you know, I don't know, see something in imagination and translate it to paper immediately without any construction lines, any improvisation, it's just there. And that's one of the things I really like about Kim Chong-gi. I know I, for some people, some people already know that I'm a really big fan of Kim Chong-gi. He's like my guru, no, not guru, he's more like idol to me. And I really look up to him because he's like, by my opinion, the best artist that ever lived. And yeah, he's like super good at actually drawing without guidelines. He's able to draw with ink without anything. He can create whole scenes of characters that could be like hundred characters in the scene and he can actually place them in a so effective way and so nice perspective his perspective it's not perfect perspective but it's his uh, perception of perspective and it looks awesome and yeah i would really like to at least like get close to that but in my own way not in his style 
just my own way. And for that, I really need to kind of get rid of these little helpers, these guidelines I'm using for now. And these scribbles and chicken scratching. I'm, yeah, I'm still doing chicken scratching. You can see that in every of my drawings. I know I'm not really proud of that, but I'm trying to get rid of it. Well, and this is one of the things I really 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 like to get rid of and learn how to make the better art with just few lines uh, fewer lines at least <laughs> yeah i'm sorry i had like few glasses of wine so i'm not sure if i'm making any sense in this video but hopefully i am anyway well uh, as you can see i'm drawing this uh kind of girl she's yeah i know she looks kind of older because well it's from the reference and in the reference she's kind of younger i'm trying to repeat it at the end with a little bit of defined lines and make her kind of younger and the copy in the copy of the original drawing but i'm not sure if i actually succeed with that i'm trying to be better at the visualization part well, I'm not really good because when I'm drawing, I usually not seeing anything. I'm try, but now I really try to think about lines and to see the whole picture before I actually drew it. And it was hard for me. It was really hard. I actually tried a lot in this video, and that's why it takes me so long to actually make something. The whole video is about sixty minutes, and usually something like this, I something like this, I would probably manage to do in about half the time. But now I really try to think about line. I just waited and that line after I after I actually knew that I'm gonna do that line. Yeah, and I really encourage you to try this sometime. It doesn't have to be like every time you're drawing. Just do your own drawing. But from time to time, just one weekend in a month or something, try to draw without the guidelines. It's really cool and it helps you improve really fast. So. Well, uh, I'm talking probably for too long today and so this is the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you find it interesting or helpful. And yeah, see you tomorrow at the stream. And hopefully we can finally draw some cool stuff together and talk about art. So thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.